Alright guys, welcome back. So, today we are playing Southampton. We're, so yeah, I've been kind of having a look at the fixtures that are ahead of us uh, for these final couple of months of the season. And um, yeah, we have got some toughies um, coming up. Today will be quite tough. I mean, Southampton are only a place above us and they haven't been doing particularly great, but I think this will be a hard one. Um, anywhere, um, you know, Southampton have got a really good team in, in real life, you know what I mean, they're doing really well, but uh, in this game, apparently not so, but so uh, yeah, <laughs> sometimes the games show a different story to how it actually goes in real, but then again, that's always the case, I suppose, um, but yeah, we've got some tough games, we've got Tottenham coming up, we've got Arsenal coming up, um, I think Everton, and I think we're playing uh, Leicester and West Ham, which are going to be tough games, so we're going to need some goals in that, so we, we need just to take as many points as we can at the moment, but uh, here we go, this is, uh, I think this is fixture 30, isn't it, so... We're almost there at the end, but uh, we need to get the job done. We need to get the job done because it uh, it's now when it can it counts. It's now when it counts because all season um, we've struggled a bit, but just recently we've kind of hit a bit of form um, and we've been unbeaten actually for quite quite a bit of time here. So we want to keep this kind of rolling if we can and um, do as well as we can to get over the line. But uh, sticking with the team, uh, no changes. Uh, I'm sticking with the exact team that I put out last time. So, you know, we just need to get a bit more lucky, I think. That's just what we need. We just sometimes in football, you need a bit of luck. And I think that's just one of the things that we need um, today. So, let's do it. We're at Southampton. Let's try and get a good result. Um, you know, I think what I might do in this one is I'm going to just leave it as it is for now. Um, with things and oh this could be good oh good defending to be honest uh, I'm gonna leave the tactics just for the time being um, I mean we're on the ball here but uh, well not anymore thanks to that thank you Ward that was very nice you know just give the ball away to the opposition that's always appreciated um, you know I think I'm just gonna maybe just leave it just a little bit Something inside is really telling me to hit defensive right now, but... J -j -j -j. Yeah, maybe I should have hit defensive, actually. I think we'll probably go with that, but... Um... Got to try and do a bit better than that here. We'll just slap it on ultra defensive for now. And that will be fine. Oh, I thought that was going in at the near post for a second. It's another corner, though. Come on, we got to get this away. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but sometimes... I really want to change my strategy sometimes because I want us to try and go out there and get as many goals as possible, but doing that means playing attacking football, and if we lose the ball, we're kind of vulnerable. So I can't do it as much as I want to. I kind of force not to because it's so important not to. So I don't know. You know what I mean? That's that's the whole f sort of you know philosophy with this team now. It's kind of just hit teams on the break. That's the best thing to do. No, oh, come on now. That's it. Get it away. That's fine. So there's not really a lot going on for us here, so we're going to have to maybe switch the play over. Oh, that could be bad. Yep, that was bad in the end. Sometimes you just need to switch the play. Here we come. Oh, somebody's going to fall on his ass. That's fine. But you need to get back up quick. And he's going to run it out of play. I don't know what it is, but it feels like the computer is making really stupid errors just lately. Like, it feels like they're just they're not getting any shots on target or anything. I don't know what that's all about, but it, it just kind of feels like the way it is all of a sudden. It's just really strange. I don't think there's been any updates to the game either, so... Oh, that's going to be a corner. Come on. Put in a good ball. Hopefully we can hit the target with a header. Ah, oh, never mind. 
Wallace, oh, Jutt. Jones. He's just going to have to put it in. Yeah, oh, he was there. But then he wasn't there. And then he was, but he wasn't. So I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Here they come, though. Come on, get this one away. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, Ward. I don't know what Ward's doing up there. It's just so strange. Oh, come on. What's he blowing his whistle for now? Is that our free kick? Hopefully. It is. So, you know what? I just, I'm not going to take any gambles. Let's just keep the possession. Oh, good ball there. Chalibur's still got it. Created a bit of space. Whipped in a ball. Nah, not good enough. Oh, well, well, I don't know what Ward's doing in this match, but he's just kind of all over the place in this one. He's just all over the shop. Chalibur, well done Chalibur. Oh, come on. I tell you what though, I think if I had to pick some of my best players... So my 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 pl the players that have worked really hard this season, I would probably have to say that probably Chalibur's my my favourite, my top one, because he's played a lot of games this season and he's played very well. I have I just have to say that I'm probably most impressed with him. I know like you know Ings works well and, and you know he's probably he's probably you know without a doubt anybody's favourite player for Burnley. He's probably everybody's favourite player if you support Burnley or whatever. But um. Probably Chalibur Heaton as well because he's been absolutely fantastic, um, pulling off saves when he, when we really need him to. You know, what I mean, probably Heaton is probably the number one actually saying that, and probably Chalibur would be my number two. Um, and I don't know, maybe I don't know. I don't know who I'd pick after that, but I think probably like Duff or uh, Shacknell at the back as well. Would probably be one of my feds. We cannot get the ball back here. Come on. Oh, what was that? What is he doing? If we concede here, there's going to be... Well, there's going to be a few fists in faces once we get in the dressing room. I could tell you that. Come on, get out. Get out, Ajuba! Good save. Good save. And again, Heaton produces a piece of Superman magic. Ward Prowse to deliver. Oh, come on, just get back. You know what? I'm going to park the bus here because I'm feeling very nervous about this one. It's never good when I feel nervous. No, oh, it's in. I was probably right to park the bus there, but it didn't help in the end. Well, never mind. Never mind. We've got to get ourselves back into it now. Nothing really to say about that. I, it, to be honest, it was a good header. It was a good header. Um, I, I don't really... I mean, we defended about as much as we could have there and we conceded, so... You know what I mean? There isn't much else to really say about that one, I don't think, but... Who knows? Um, I think probably the best thing here is that we slap it back on uh, balanced, I think, because, you know what I mean, we're never going to get a goal. Um, 
playing defensive now. We need to go for it. That's going to go wide. I think it's going to be half time here. I don't think there's going to be much chance to get a goal. I think the the first half should be up, but uh, I'm I'm not 100% satisfied with the way we've played in the first half. I think we've been okay, but not great. Um, especially not up front. We've been having to defend a bit too much, so we need to change that around in the second half. It might even be the case that we go attacking maybe around about the sort of 65-70 minute mark when we're going to have to push for it, but um, I believe we can get a goal back into this if we keep pressing on. So, second half. Uh, again, like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to change anything. Let's just stick with it. Um, but I'm going to keep balance for the time being. I might probably change it when we're in... I think what I'll do is I'll change it slightly to balanced when we're not in possession but maybe attacking when we are in possession if we can so that might seem to be the best idea who knows I mean we've got it on balance now and they're kind of having a few chances here like that that was close but you know what I mean they kind of um, have a bit more space in the box you know which is kind of a problem but at the same time you know what what else can we do that's going to run out ah never mind uh, substitution here ward prowse off for tadic uh, so that's something they're doing My plan with substitutes is pretty much the same in every football game I play. Pretty much bring them on around about the 60, 70 minute mark of each match. Good take by Heaton there. Wallace. Oh, there's nothing you can do. Switch the play maybe. No, oh, that's not going to work. Is it? Nope. Come on, we really are kind of struggling for possession. You know what I mean? I'm thinking we're struggling so much for possession in this match. It's maybe a case of playing the possession tactics. Oh, get it away. Definitely no penalties there. They're going to use another sub. I'm going to bring Shane Long off. He... Got a couple of goals against us from what I remember last time. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play possession tactics because I just feel like we need to do that. Um, and I got an achievement for it. Okay, well that's something I haven't done before. So let's uh, let's do that, and uh, hopefully it might work. Seems to be good so far. There's nothing really opening up though. Ah. And that looks good. Jones can run onto it. Yes, he can. Whipped in ball. Header! Oh! Taken by Forster in the end. It was a pretty good move, that. But uh, we just we were just unlucky with it, I suppose. Oh, come on, get back. Okay, well done, well done. Oh, very nicely done. Oh, it just couldn't work anything there at all. Oh, he's not going to work anything there either. Right, we're just going to have to switch to attacking now and just hope for... You know what, let's just keep it balanced now, but once we get into... Um, possession, I think probably just maybe ultra attacking might be our best bet, saying that. Don't really want to bring on any subs either, but I don't know, we might need to freshen things up, who knows. Oh, still in possession here. 
Wallace is going to he's not going to get onto it well, we have won a throw in though quite deep in their half so let's can we whip something in over the keeper oh you know what that put them under a bit of pressure there Oh, come on. Oh, Ings didn't keep his run up there. I don't know if he was offside. Here's Ings. What's gone on there? Offside. I was just talking about him being offside, but... The Southampton player got to it before he did, and then it was given as a late offside, which... Oh, that is so annoying. Really annoying. How many subs have they used? Oh my gosh, it feels like they've used about seven or something. I'm not, I'm not even kidding, it feels like they've used so many subs. That must be the last one, surely. Unbelievable chance that I thought Ings was in to equalise, but I guess not. I'm not going to give up on this just yet, though. Oh, terrible, 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 terrible. Win it back. You know what? Here we go. Ultra attacking time. We're going to have to do it. Oh, well done by Jutt. Well done. Oh, Ings. Was, no, it wasn't. Was that Jutt? I thought that. Who was that? I don't even know who that was on the wing there. It must have been Sordell. Ah, that is so annoying. I'm going to bring Marnie on for Jones and Knightley on for Sordell. Because uh, I want to change things up just to rest some of my players, but I couldn't really think of what to do. Um, so we're going to hit all out attack here. Because why not? Ings is going to make a run. Uh, it's not going to pay off. Here we are. Somebody's got to make that run. Somebody has to make the run. Oh, come on, somebody make a run here before we lose the ball. I don't really want to cross it in because I'm afraid we'll probably just lose possession if we do that. But we haven't got time to waste. Oh, Wallace is going to lose it. We're just going to have to just put it in and hope for the best. Yes! Oh, no way! I think that was Knightley. How do you blaze it over from there? How is that not even on target? There's going to be massive hair dryers tonight. Absolutely massive. You don't even know how massive. How do you miss that? Come on, my grandma would have done better from there. Trust me. Trust me. Jesus Christ, Knightley. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's, uh, he's just done the same as well. From a bit further out, though, saying that. Oh, my God. One last chance. All out attack. Why not? Might as well go for it. Hoof ball time. Get it up there. Oh, we're not even going to have time. We lose. That is so annoying. We did about as much as we could do there. We conceded. Uh, to be honest, the goal we conceded was probably fair in the end because we did about as much as we could, but we just weren't good enough to beat them today. And that is going to put a bit of pressure on us, so we're going to have to see what the results are. And uh, here are the results then. So start off, um, Aston Villa 0-0 against Swansea. Not important. Hull was 1-1 against Chelsea. Newcastle 1-1. Arsenal. Uh, QPR got a draw against Everton. Was kind of hoping for the Everton win, but still. Um, yeah, Spares won 4-0 against Leicester, so that's good. Crystal Palace did lose to Stoke. That was an important uh, victory that Stoke got there. And uh, West Ham lost to Sunderland, so I think that was another one that kind of needed to go our way, and it did. Uh, the league table then. So we're still sitting in 16th, um, still on 30 points, still two above relegation. So it's pretty much as you were. Um so yeah, as you can see though, West Ham did 
uh, pick up a point somewhere down the line, but we do have a game in hand over them, and we actually do have a game in hand over Leicester, but like I say, I don't think Leicester are important, so we're one of the teams that is sitting on 30 games played, um, so it's pretty much as you was before. So, next set of fixtures to start off, Arsenal-Liverpool, so that's kind of a big game there, but it's not important for us. Chelsea-Stoke, Crystal Palace-Man City, we need a Man City win. Uh, Manchester United-Aston Villa, Swansea-Hull, uh, that's not an important one really, and I don't, f um, I was about to say, um, I don't think West Brom are that important now, I don't think they're going to be down there come the end of the season, but um, they are playing QPR, so we need them to get a good result, hopefully. Um, so yeah, another tough game coming up next, we are playing Spares, who were at one point running, just running away with the title, I don't even know who's top now, I haven't really been paying much attention. But um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode. A disappointing loss, but let's pick ourselves back up. Um, we've got eight games to go now. And uh, yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. See you then.